Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I ran out of ideas and I had a little bit of a break. In today's video, we're going to be tweening parts or smoothly moving parts. Like, instead of this part, instantly going to this same position. So let's say we get the position of this part. Instead of this part, just teleporting like that to the red part. We want it to like smoothly move towards that direction. Now obviously it won't go down or go straight and then go up like that. It'll go diagonally towards it. So we're just going to make it smoothly go to this location with different animations. Similar to how we tween the UI in one of our previous videos. So let's get started. So you can tween a parts position using a local script or a server script. In this case, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to go to workspace. I'm going to hit the plus and insert a script. So in this case, we're going to be using a server script. I'm just going to rename this script to tween part. And I will remove print hello world. So first, I'm going to do this because I don't want the part to tween as soon as the player joins the game. Since I want time for the game to actually load before it starts to do that. So you don't have to do this. I'm just going to do this so I can show it off once it's done. I'm just going to do task.wait5, which is going to wait 5 seconds before it plays the tween. So one of the first things we need to do is get tween service. So local tween ser service equals game get service tween service. So we're making a variable called tween service and we're making game get service tween service inside of that variable. So this is just getting a service which is already built into Roblox and it's going to be called tween service so we can actually create a tween for part A. And actually before we do all of this, let's just make one variable for our part A and part B. So local part A equals workspace, wait for child part A. So we're just going to make a variable called part A, go into workspace which is inside of our explorer tab as you can see here and we're going to wait for a child called part a to be inside of here a child is basically like so the parent of part a would be workspace as that's what's in this inside of it's like an ancestry chart this would be the parent of part a and then whatever workspace is under would be like that would be the parent of workspace if that makes sense like yeah so just how texture the parent of texture is base plate and the parent of base plate is workspace just how ancestry is your mom and then like your grandma or something like that so then we're going to make another variable for part b so we'll go part b equals workspace wait for child part b we're just going to store these parts into variables so we can easily access them so we can actually tween them now we need to make some tween info so we're going to do local tween info equals tween info dot new and now we're going to have to put some information so the first parameter as you can see up here is the time this is how long you want it to take to get from point a to point b so i'm going to say one second to get from part a to part b now it's going to be your easing style so first you would write enum.easingStyle and then once you hit the dot you have a couple of options here. Now I'll put a link in the description that will showcase what all of these look like. But for this video I'm just going to put quad. You can check out the link in the description and it will showcase how each one of these moves since these are basically different animations to how it's going to smoothly tween over to the other location so in this video i'm just going to use quad as this is personally my favorite and then we're going to get the easing direction so we're going to do enum.easing direction and now so for each animation there's two ways tweening in and tweening out they both are different which you'll see in the link in the description so you can see that but if you do in out then that means like when it's going back it's going to go out and then when it's going f like forward it's going to be in so if it's going from point a here it's going to go in and then it's, if it's going back it's going to go 
out or it's going to play that animation hopefully that makes sense so then our next parameter is how many times you want it to repeat so I don't want it to repeat at all so I'm just going to put zero then we have the option if it will reverse so once it goes all that way will it reverse back to its original position after it's reached point B will it go back to point A basically so I don't want it to go back so I'll put false and then this is just a delay and I basically made my own up here so I'm just going to put zero so no delay on its start it's just gonna start instantly once the line of code for it to run or tween has been put or called so now we actually have to make a tween this is tween info this is just some information so we don't have to jam it all into one line so we're gonna do local tween part equals tween service and then create so now we're going to store a animation which will create with all our tween info and our variables up here into a variable called tween part so the first parameter to our create is our instance the instance is the part that we want to tween or make move which in my case would be part a so for instance i will put part a and here we're calling our variable this thing is the same as replacing part a right here with everything we have after this equals except we're just shortening it down so we don't have to type this every time we can just type part a instead it's basically a shortcut now similar to this variable up here we have another variable over here which already has all of our tween info that we have to put in our second parameter laid out so i'm just going to put tween info and make sure it's the one with the lowercase or whatever you named your variable because as you can see here it's capital and here it's lowercase it's lowercase because this is a variable name since there's a function that actually uses a capital t in it so make sure you use the lowercase tween info unless you have a different name for this variable like if you put abc make sure you put abc there instead but i'm going to keep that as tween info now here is where you have a property table so we're going to put these curly brackets and in here if we go to our part and we go to our properties tab we can find a property called position so you can tween any property basically inside of this so you can tween the transparency from 0 to 1 or the reflectance or really anything even the color if you want to tween the color to a different number then you can but here you're going to put the name of the property so in my case i want to tween the position so i'm going to do position equals and now since position is usually stored as a vector 3 we're going to do vector 3.new and then we're going to get the position of part b which is why we made a variable so we're just going to do part b dot position so this is going to set the position property to the position of part b so part a new position will become part b's position and if you want to add more properties like color then you can also add that here you could do brick color equals and then whatever you can use any property basically that you want just make sure you add a comma and then you can add that onto there so this is our tween line complete but launching the game won't actually make anything happen since we actually have to play our animation so to play it it's pretty simple all you do is call our variable that we have this tween created in so tween part is what i named it so we just do tween part and then play it's that simple to get it playing so now if we head over to our base plate and we hit play and we wait a few seconds once everything loads in since we do have a five second delay at the start Ooh, our gray part has moved and since it, it did not move to our red part since i don't think we have to put vector 3 here since we're going to just set this position to the position of part b so i'm just going to change that to part b dot position instead of vector 3 so let's just load this up again let that load 
Ooh. Oh, well, as you can see, we missed it, but the part is over here with the red part. Let me just increase the delay and let's look at that again. So let's just set this to eight seconds delay. And let's look at this once again. Let's just let this load. And then once it starts to move, as you can see, it'll move with the time that we wanted it to take to the place that we wanted it to go. And as you saw, it didn't instantly appear over here as it would if we just set the position. It smoothly moved over here instead, which is, in my opinion, much nicer than it just appearing there all of a sudden, unless that's what you need. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you. And yeah, see ya.